So what is up guys, it's Shizmc, and as you guys can see in today's video, we are going to be creating ourselves a mushroom farm. So we are actually in this world today, and it is looking like, as always guys, it's a great day. So, you know, the sugarcane farm is actually doing well, and I think we've finished our enchanting room now, guys. So yeah, I finished this a long while ago, and I was supposed to enchant a weapon, but we aren't level... 30 yet so i think i'll do this on the next episode but what should i enchant guys should i enchant my pickaxe or my diamond spade guys and leave a comment down below and i did have the comment wall so those of you who commented on the last episode don't forget to leave a comment and leave a comment quickly guys because you know i'm going to be making these episodes more frequently because you know i'm just going to listen to what you guys say now because you know why not so um yeah so as you guys can see i don't know i don't i don't really know how enchanting works i probably have to do a slight bit of research just to, you know so i don't mess this up but um, yeah, so what I wanted to do in today's video was to show you guys a bit of work that I've done in the bakery And what I also wanted to do is I wanted to show you guys um, that I want to make a what that is that farm called You know, I think I need to get do I need a bit of food. Is that potato cooked? Does it, is that potato cooked? No, it's not so you know, I'm gonna is, is these potatoes I'm gonna get a couple of potatoes quickly guys, but yeah, I've done a bit of work on the um, I'm just gonna bake a couple of these I've done a bit of work guys on what did I do what did I do uh, on the bakery that was it on the interior of the bakery I basically just done a bit of the interior making the downstairs area look relatively nice I think and yeah it should look awesome so, oh, oh whoop, 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 whoop. let me just get out my diamond sword I did not know um, mobs could spawn in there and see so, yeah, what I'm thinking also guys is I need to have an area where I can um, put more spawn so as you guys can see this area looks really really nice i just think i need a little bit more lighting so i didn't have enough wood well i did have enough wood but i just i just didn't have enough wood at the time because i see i've been collecting some birch wood to fill up the roof and um yeah this area looks pretty nice we've got all the chests i just need to put the correct items in each of the the chests and stuff like that so what i need to do i actually need to smell all these potatoes and there are oh, there isn't coal in each and every one of these so that is a problem so um let me just put some potatoes in there and i'll put some wood in there for now you, know, you can always get some wood and i think buckets of lava i might i might have to get a bunch of buckets of lava to fill in these chests just so you know if i have a smelting if i want to do some smelting that will always be available so you know let's just might as well finish up this area and what i also wanted to do guys is i wanted to make uh is it a mushroom farm i believe i think it's a mushroom farm oh whoop, 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 whoop. what is it it's a mushroom farm so um what this mushroom farm is i i don't know why people create mushroom farms i think you can create out of mushroom farms um some mushroom stew or something like that but i'm not i am not entirely sure i guess we'll just have to see um but yeah I, I've, I've never really worked with mushrooms in minecraft i just looked up a tutorial on how to make a mushroom farm and apparently guys apparently you have to put the mushrooms in some sort of dark area so you have to like put them in a really really dark area close off all the light and make sure there's no light source and then they spread after a really long time so i'm gonna try that i'm gonna try that because i did try to make a mushroom farm before a very long time ago but it didn't work so i just you know thought ever since then that mushrooms on 360 edition didn't work but um you know i well on the xbox one edition or the xbox edition didn't work so uh let's see hmm yeah so this area does look really cool i'm actually proud so i need to add some more lighting just in case and where did my torches go ah uh -huh, i know where i put them i know i put them there in my inventory okay they're not in my inventory are they in any of the chest no they're not so uh hmm i also need to create a door for some reason I haven't made a door yet and I do believe that we do have the new doors right we do have the yes we do have the new doors and I'm gonna I'm just gonna stick with the standard oak door I don't know I like the standard oak door but I probably should have used the birch door but you know standard oak door for the winds so one there one there and of course we're gonna have a third one which we don't need so yeah I'm just gonna place this somewhere random so uh where oh yeah let me show you guys where i found the mushrooms uh, okay i don't know why for some reason i'm lagging let's see what's going on in our farm i need to see what's going on in our chicken farm just quickly because i i didn't mean to place that door there but you know it is what it is so there's oh the cow farm is 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 going well cow farm is going really well so there we go 
and our chicken farm is going actually it's doing doing well doing well guys it's actually doing pretty well um i'm just gonna collect some eggs come on there we go there we go seven eggs you guys are doing you guys are doing well you guys are doing well seven eggs we've now got a whole stack of eggs which is decent and i don't know how many chickens you can spawn but i think i'm gonna try to reach the limit just so that i can get as much eggs as possible so uh, yeah I, I think on the next episode i might want to bake our first cake as well simply because you know baking cake i think you do get an achievement but i'm pretty sure i've done it um a long while ago and i haven't used this minecart in in a very long time this is not even there's not even a minecart here there's the oh you know i'm gonna take half of that coal because i need half of that coal and i'm gonna have to eat some rotten flesh Ugh, what i have to eat rotten flesh i always i always just carry this around just in case you know you need a bit of food just to keep you there and i think my minecart might oh let's get in so yeah um there's mushrooms over here i'll show you guys and this needs to be destroyed because i was created in the first episode i also think that we might want to move guys i don't know because the world is a is really big now so i might have to create like a huge 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 minecart system just um to be able to move across so oh is it is that a spider i th i don't i don't know if it's gonna attack me okay 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 and it's not even a cave spider so as you guys can see we have some mushrooms here and um apparently why these grow is because do i have any more i don't know if i have any more mushrooms but apparently why these grow is uh ugh, got that nope oh, be careful apparently why these grow is because they grow in a dark area so i need to make a dark area and just place these down so um you know i'm actually gonna mine this coal simply because right now we need this coal and i do apologize for it being a bit dark but um you might just want to turn up the brightness on your device we're gonna be out of this cave in a second anyway so there, there we go um oh yeah there's another plot of mushroom there and this is really really weird i don't i don't even know how this is how this is possible but i don't i don't want to destroy it. i just want to get me some coal oh oh destroyed it oh oh ruined it <laughs> ruined it for everyone um how do i get out again how do I get out of this mess? Is there an easy way out? There must be an easy way. You know, I'm just going to place some cobblestone down and then we're going to get out of this. So let's place that down. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, place the block down. Okay, there we go. There's, a, there's some steps and it is getting dark as you guys can see. So if I just jump over here, there we go. So, um, what do I need to do? And that is my first terrible survival hut. Uh, what was I going to need to do? So yeah, a dark area where is a dark place that is relatively safe that i could place the mushrooms i think <clears throat> i think i could even place them underneath the farm somewhere or in my house i think i have a space in my house that i could place them in like a dark area so i, I don't think there's any space in the farm area nope there's not much space and if they do get really big um there's just there's just not going to be any point for me to do that and one second guys i need to just check something in my house very quickly so i am back after that short little cut but yeah i just went ahead and slept and uh there's some diamonds i'm gonna put the gold and redstone back so as i was saying before i was rudely interrupted there's an area down here which is quite dark and i believe if i i've got some cobblestone i've got a decent amount of cobblestone well i need to create some torches and i need to go get myself some baked potatoes because I don't want to die right now. I need I need some food, so I should have some spare food. Oh yeah, we got some we got some we got some cooked pork chops in this chest, and I don't want to even kill those pigs. I don't know where I'm supposed to get carrots from, guys. Where am I supposed to get carrots from, guys? I want to I want to also I also have an idea for a mob spawner, but I don't know if it's gonna. Let me just see what's down here. Is there any creepy crawlies down here? So yeah, I also have an idea for a mob spawner because um. As many of you know, mobs are what the, what is that chest? Secret chest? What the hell? What is in that chest? Uh, uh, oh, oh, I, I guess I can't open. I don't. What? What? what, what, what? Guys, it's a secret chest. Secret chest. Oh, I think this is. Is it? Is this what? Why is there a chest here? Why is there a chest here? Questions, questions, but no answers. I mean, what? Why would there be a spawn chest here? I don't... Hmm. I think someone may have joined my world when I wasn't paying attention. And then there may have spawned a chest, a bonus chest here. Since there's like potatoes and there's um all these types of wood and there's jungle tree saplings and there's melon seeds. 
I'm gonna take these guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna take these guys. But you know what? They're gonna save that for next another episode, guys. Cause I don't I, I don't I didn't I didn't the, 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 no one spawned here. The spawn isn't here, guys. This doesn't make sense to me. This doesn't make. Oh no! Actually, I remember now. I remember now. Since since um. I remember explanation explanation time and I'm sorry for going in third person mode you guys hate that but I love that so basically I remember guys I used to let people come on this world and I still probably will I just didn't realize that it spawned bonus chests like the one there and I didn't even realize that guys honestly didn't realize so yeah I guess now we've got melodies because on the first episode of this you know some Drism C history on the first episode of this guys I did enable bonus chests because before starting the survival world, I'd never really played survival alone. I always had um, a companion or someone, you know, just coaching me along, just making sure I didn't die or whatever. Because, you know, I'm just pretty terrible at Minecraft survival in general. I will die a bunch of times. Um, and it's just, I'm just, I'm just really bad. So that's the reason for that. So, uh, yeah, that is uh, why I enabled the bonus chest. But I didn't, honestly didn't know that when new players spawn in, they also get a bonus chest. So, that is some as i was saying that is something new and i just sneezed there so I, you know I, I don't think you guys want to hear that but yeah um melon seed so down here is this area and i think i need to create some stairs so we already have some stone stairs which is luckily enough because um i didn't think i was going to use these for anything else so uh let's just mine out of this area over here oh there we go there we have it the culprit the culprit i uh, just wait just wait i've got my axe i've got my axe i've got my axe there we go I'll say we're gonna mine out that, mine out that, mine out that, mine out that, and then uh, I'm just gonna place some stairs down. Uh, or, or should we place a ladder? I thought that we should place a ladder instead. Um, hmm. I don't know, guys. I don't know. What should we do? Is stairs or I think you know. I think I think we should place. Uh, huh. Yeah, I think we should. I think we're gonna have to place a ladder simply because um, of the way this underground area is. And the fact that we need to keep this area very, very dark. So I'm going to replace the dirt on top of this. Just to keep out the light from there. Then I'm going to need to get the wood and replace that back. Uh, there we go. So yeah, that's how to create a mushroom farm. So then I need to replace the block there. Where is the light coming from? There's so much light coming in. So there's light coming from... Oh, the torch. My bad, guys. I didn't even realize the bonus chest had a, had a glowing torch like that. So uh, there we got that. Then we just need to create ourselves a ladder. So then we're going to place the start. And on the next episode, guys, we're going to create an awesome melon farm. So we're going to probably have to expand our farm by a lot, which is going to be definitely interesting. And I'm really glad to have melons because, as you all know, melons are probably the best way to um, eat in Minecraft. They're just... You can get once you break a block, you get a ton of seeds and a ton of materials. Um, and you know they're really, really easy growable. They're just really fast. As you guys can see, you get nine pieces there. And where are the ladders? I honestly don't know. I thought it was in fences. Is it not in fences? Uh, okay. Um, sticks. Oh, there we go. So six ladders, and then we just need a trap door. So what we need to do now is we need to get ourselves. Uh, there we go. We're gonna place ourselves some mushrooms around here. Oh, there's some mine down there. So we're gonna place our mushrooms down here, guys, and then hopefully they grow and spread like wildfire. But I guess we're gonna have to see what happens. So oh, there's an even there's an even nice nice underground area here. So um, that is what we're gonna do for now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go up back up here, and uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna close off the area. Then later we're gonna open up the area and uh, let me just mind that yeah later we're gonna open up the area and see what happens so i think i'm gonna have to end this episode short guys because i have some unexpected duties but yeah we did do the mushroom farm and we did find some melon seeds which is also cool and the comment from the last episode that i chose at random was gamble gamer saying can't wait till next video well here the next video is Hopefully you enjoyed this video guys, don't forget to leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and if you guys have any suggestions, don't forget to leave them in the comment section down below. So it's been Juicy, and until next time, it's going to be peace from me.